Queasy. Hi, it's Queasy, and today's video I just want to talk about how to avoid being a chow. Chows are people, low life people, that think they are better than everyone. They tend to wear tracksuits and they give tracksuits a bad name, okay? So now I can't wear tracksuits because I don't want to be seen as a chow, even though I don't talk like one and I don't do whatever chubby things to do. Now I just wanted to help a few people out there because a lot of people suffer from chavism. Chavism is like this disease that it starts slowly and then slowly slowly and, and then in denial you actually become a full-time chow. Now how can you stop being a full-time chow? A lot of people think that chows are always crackheads and stuff like that and they always go around and egging people and stuff like that. But that's just the outcome of being a child. There's a few things you can do to stop you being a child. First things first, okay? If you're a full-time child and you've committed your life to being a child, then I'm sorry I can't help you because you can't change unless you want to. So my suggestion to you then would be probably, you know, to throw in yourself under a bus or something like maybe just kill yourself okay I can't stand full-time chaps but if you're out there and you've just started and you're sick of it and you're thinking I'm tired of being a chap I'm tired of looking like a chap okay now I don't want you to stop wearing track suits okay track suits are great okay maybe just stop putting your hands in them okay if you want to have a wank go at home and have a wank you don't have to walk around with your hands in your pants all the time that's the first sign and first thing to stop being a chap there's nothing cool about putting your hands in your pants and walking around okay i was one of the coolest people in my primary nursery high school college whatever and i'm just gonna tell you now i have never put my hand in my pants okay it doesn't turn girls on it just shows girls that you have a small weenie and that's why you have your hands in your pants so you can make it look big okay i have a big day okay I just had to put it out there so I did not have to put my hands in my pants to show it. If you're out there putting your hands in your pants all the time, you're just a child, okay? It just gives you a picture of a child. Another thing is you don't have to say yeah man to the end of every sentence, okay? I used to think people stopped doing that in 2010 or whatever, but people still do it. Chaps do it. They always find that one word they say after the end of every word when they speak, you get me. Or, or sometimes a yeah man or farm, no one cares, okay? Don't say farm so many times. Try to find some voc other words in the vocabulary, man. Oh my days, they always have that word that they say at the end of every word. So if you're one of those people, then you're probably a chap. And especially if you're around chaps. If you wanna stop being a chap, stop chilling with chaps. Now chappy girls, I always slaggy, so I can't blame guys to want to chill with them because they're gonna be getting free sex. But if you're a guy and you're chilling around chubby guys, you're not getting sex out of them, just leave them, okay? Avoid them and their chubbiness and whatever low life shit they're doing, man. There's nothing cool with egging a boss, okay? There's nothing cool about that. I've done so much cool stuff in my life and I have so much cool stuff to do in with my life, but egging a boss and throwing eggs at people is not one it's not cool you basically went and bought eggs from a corner shop and you're throwing them at people you're a fucking child there's nothing cool about that it shows you're weak anyone can throw an egg man what the hell okay you just what the fuck man stop throwing eggs at people if someone does you wrong maybe stop i'm joking you don't stop anyone okay you're not as professional as me, so I can do that, but you don't do that, okay? What I'm saying is that sit down with someone, talk to them. You know, stop thinking you can all be gangsters, okay? If a child, child's always have this thing where they think they're gangsters. You're not gangsters, you're just little people that wait outside high schools and scare little kids in year eight. Some child don't even mess around with kids in year 11 because they know they'll bang the shit out of them. So they go to these primary schools, wait around with their little bikes, and then they think they own the school, okay? So you don't have to stop riding a bike because riding a bike doesn't make you a child. It's just the other small things you do on a bike. So if you go around stealing other people's bikes on your bike with your little chubby friends, then that makes you a child, but riding a bike doesn't. If you go around egging people with on your little bike, then that makes you a child. If you go around, you see police officers standing somewhere, and then you're on your bike, and then you're calling them names, and then you ride off running, you're the pussy, man. 
you're calling people and then you're running off. You see what I mean? It's stupid, right? You can be cool in so many other ways, just not being a chub. Like there's life and then the chubs are always at the bottom, okay? Even people in starving countries are way cooler than chubs. That's how, like, chubs are at the bottom of the thingy. They live in fourth world countries or 10 world countries, bro. So yeah, basically stop being a chub, man. Okay, the only thing I like about chub, especially girls, is that chub, chubby girls, they always slides. So you know you can always get sex out of them. That's it, okay? And if you're a girl, man, if the best way to stop being a chub, if you're a girl, is to just stop too many drugs. A lot of girls just become chubs because they take too many drugs. Like, they stop looking after themselves and then they start just looking like chubs. They swear the dirty trainer, she can buy a trainer today. Like tomorrow it looks like she's been wearing it since Jesus' times man it's messed up so yeah you, you can stop doing so many drugs if you're a girl because guys can do drugs and they can stay stable or well, some can become chaps and they think they're drug dealers they think they do all these bad things but really they don't do shit they don't even get if you want to do something really bad then do something that will get you a life imprisonment not something that will get you six months like all these chaps out there do i'm not saying go kill people don't do that but you're not bad just because you're going to prison for nine, six months. What the hell? What what the hell, man? All right. So yeah, you stop being a child, man. Girls, just stop being a slaggy child. That's even worse. So if you're a child and then you're a slag, like you're not gonna go to heaven, man. Like God's gonna look at you and call his angels and gonna laugh at you and then they're gonna probably piss on you. Because it's God, he can do what he wants. If he wants to piss on you because you've been a slaggy chav on earth, he can do that, all right? So just stop being a chav and live a good life, all right? I'm not a chav, I live a good life. I'm kind of fucked up and on high on a lot of drugs, but I'm happy, all right? I'm not a chav, okay? Do I look like a chav to you? Did I say yeah man or farm in every last bit of it? sentence that I said no because there are so many words you can use when you talk to people no all right fam oh trust 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 shut the fuck up man okay so yeah that's how you stop being a chap I feel like I've helped chaps out there and people that were going to become chaps in the future stop being chaps peace